This folding karambit is the M Tech Slash One, right? And this is the uh, woodland camo pattern. It also comes in many different color schemes, but I like this one. As you can see, opening hole on that 2.2 inch, uh, very curved blade, uh, nice and pointed. Not the sharpest, but uh, it's it's mo it's mainly all about the point for a karambit. And before I go on, I just want to bring your attention to that karambit underneath the MTech. That is a Tac Force Talon. As you can see, uh, the exact same blade, the only difference is that the Tac Force has an index flipper and an assist. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and say you might as well get the MTech because uh, the flipper and the assist and the lockup on that Tac Force. Uh, basically doesn't work. Um, if you try to use the flipper when the knife is not pointed <laughs> downward, it will flip. It will not lock up. Okay, so the flipper sucks on that one. So I would just not even bother with uh, with this model. You might as well just have the simpler functional model. Also, the assist makes it harder to use. The opening hole. So yeah, in this case, I would recommend the non-flipper, non-assist model, which is the MTech Slash One. All right, this is this knife is actually the kind of the superstar of the extreme budget uh, world of karambits. I've reviewed many cheap karambits in uh, in this series, and I have to say, right off the bat, this is the best constructed of them all. One major difference is. Uh, is the liners. All right, you see full steel liners on that open pillar construction. Good ergonomics with that thumb ramp there. All right, ample jimping. See it's a twin ring, of course, and the liners extend right to there as well, and it's rounded. All right? So it's rounded for comfort. It's another good thing. Deployment very easy and the lockup on this is rock solid the lockup on there's absolutely no flexing of that liner and there's no lock slip there's no blade play pretty amazed for this price range basically has the lockup of a much more expensive knife now as far as the sizing of this it is sized for medium sized hands as I have now the curvature of the handle um, they, they've done that correctly as well as the angle of the blade to the handle because the tip is sufficiently forward uh, for, for solid slashing techniques, martial techniques, as well as the close cutting. So the ergonomics of that, it's good. Uh, in, in the other position, good as well for the draw cut, lots of control. Yeah, it, it's very comfortable. All right, so yeah, uh, it surprised me. Of the six budget-priced uh, folders in this series, uh, this was overall the best one, okay? Uh, you know, I try to give fair and balanced reviews. Um, it would be easy to come here and just uh, make fun of the knife, but, you know, w when I try it out and it actually has good features, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys because you might want to use it, you know, mainly as a, as a trainer or just a cheap utility. The lockup is secure, uh, the deployment is easy, reliable, solid, the rings are comfortable, the ergonomics are right both in the traditional reverse grip and in the uh, you know, right side up utility cutting type grip. I would say the quality of this, it's around the quality level of a Spyderco, um, well their Bird series like the Karakara 2 or around the same quality level of a San Rem New, okay, which are used by a lot of people as beater knives, all right? Uh, so, I mean, considering that most m are not as good as those, um, th this is surprising. The main difference would be the steel. This is 440, and I'm positive that it's 440A, all right? So the steel is slightly crappier even than those. Uh, but as I've said before, for this type of blade, it's just all about the pointedness of the tip because any steel is stronger than flesh. All right, I hope you enjoyed this review. Stay tuned for many more.
I'm out.